Hello, Perez Hilton here, beauty vlogger. <laughs> Not really, but kind of. The video I'm making today does feel like a part two of last weekend's video I made about how to floss and brush your teeth properly and the secrets to my pearly whites. And a lot of people really enjoyed that and said that they were inspired to get healthier with their hygiene and that they learned a lot. And I learned a lot recently. It's insane to me that I only now found out that for the last three decades, I have been shaving incorrectly. I recently went to the facialist and my aesthetician blew my mind because she observed what I used to have happen regularly, which was a lot of razor burn and irritation. She gave me some very helpful information, which I'm gonna share with you guys, which has eliminated that problem. Sometimes I still get a little bit of irritation, but not anywhere near as much as I used to. So the first thing I do before I shave, which I used to do, and this is still a good thing to do, not everybody does it, but I hop in the shower and I just chill for a while because the heat, the steam, helps to open up your pores. One of the many things my aesthetician told me, and I think that this will apply to women as well as men, is don't go too hard with your razor. I was going way too hard with my razor, especially because I have a razor that has multiple blades and you don't need to go that hard with a multiple blade razor. So that was one helpful tip. After I get out of the shower and my pores are all open and I'm nice and relaxed, first step for me is, you can use any brand, all right? I use the Art of Shaving, a pre-shave oil on my face. And this is gonna give you a nice smooth experience. But as I told you just a minute ago, it won't guarantee that you will avoid razor burn. I use one of these appliers to put the shaving cream on my face. I use Lab Series. I like it a lot because look at that, look at that. Mm. I hate really creamy uh, shaving creams. You know, I like it to be thick so I don't have to reapply all the time. Okay. All right. Mm -mm -mm. Ready. Now, the biggest takeaway, and I saved it for last, the biggest takeaway that 40-year-old me did not know before was that I was shaving in the wrong direction. My facialist and I, don't, I can't believe that none, none had previously told me this, because I, well, not that much anymore, but I used to get facials all the time. Now, you know, if I'm lucky, I'll go once or twice a year. So I was shaving in the wrong direction. I used to shave like that all the time, every way. No, gentlemen. And I think, you know, with legs, legs are different, but maybe not. Gentlemen and ladies, maybe some ladies need to shave their faces. You shave down, going down. Do not shave up your face. Shave going down in the direction of the hair. And then this part down here, the neck, I was shaving down as well. No, the neck, shave up up because that is the different direction the hair is going in. Poof. Poof. <laughs> I had no idea. 
Anyways, um, should I actually shave? Uh, maybe I will, just because I like to be real. But the last thing I do, oh wait, this was another thing. Another, I, I'm glad I was gonna do, I'm glad I'm gonna do the whole thing because I would have forgotten this next step. So, one thing, so thus far, to recap, the things I'm doing differently are, I am not going really hard with the razor. I'm just gently shaving downward and then not back up. And then for the neck area, going up. Those are two helpful hints. And then the final thing, I never used to use toner. And listen, I would be lying if I said I really knew what toner does or is. I mean, I think I do. Allegedly, it helps to restore your skin, put pH balances back or balance back where it's supposed to be. And basically, after you shave your face, men, and maybe women with your legs, you should use toner. Get these little pads, put the toner on the pad, and then put it all over. And that as well, the toner not only will help restore everything, it's another added step to help you not get razor burn and um, irritation. So don't go too hard with the razor. Down, down, up, up, and toner. And now I'm gonna wash my face and maybe I'll talk as well so that uh, you get a little extra. Um, I'm really excited. I'm taking my kids to the Museum of Ice Cream today. Be on the lookout for those photos later on my Instagram. I was thinking of vlogging the experience, but like the Museum of Ice Cream is a lot more visual in a picture form and it makes more sense than like Watch my video at the Museum of Ice Cream. Anyways, if you guys missed it, there was some major drama over on my main channel. Do you guys subscribe to both? I don't know, I'm just gonna assume you don't, but a recap. On Friday, I made a video in Spanish, which is no surprise to followers and subscribers of this channel. Only thing different was the video I made was a Gossip Report, Entertainment News, in Espanol, because I had never done that before and I was excited to try something different. Well, a lot of people were really upset, so much so that I had to make a response video to all of those people. Gently going across the face, Yes, I know, I have, okay, so this is another thing. I'm glad I'm doing it for real. I have the water running the whole time because I like to repeatedly clean my blade underneath the water and I have it going under really hot heat. So kind of like the shower philosophy, you know, I want the blades hot and I'm not going real hard. Anyways, an update yesterday from this channel. I am fully packed now for Vegas. Six weeks worth of clothes, that's a lot. But I'm so stoked because I have a whole new wardrobe, pretty much. My friends at 5-4 sent me a bunch of clothes. Some I'm keeping here because I want to wear to like red carpet events. But a lot of the clothes they sent me are really casual, um, like athleisure and just t-shirts and stuff. So I'm excited to wear those around Vegas. I cannot believe that I'll be there in less than a week. I hope to see you guys at Chippendales. I'm almost done, you guys.
constantly putting the blade under the hot water and making sure it's clean and not stuck with hair because you don't want any painful moments. I just had a random idea. There should be a VidCon for old people. <laughs> I mean, would people even go? Is that a good idea? This is what, like, I, when I'm in the shower, when I'm in the gym, I get all sorts of ideas. Like, I should, I don't even know, to be honest. Like, I don't check my stats on here. I probably could see the ages of my subscribers. Actually, let me know in the comments section. And it'd be wild to know if anybody watched this far. How old are you? I'd love to know your ages. I'm 40. How old are you? I would love to have followers of all ages. I don't know why I was just assuming that all of my followers are older. But that'd be so cool if I have some young followers. Yay! All done. And yeah, I'm so happy I did the whole thing so that I could keep revealing things. I don't like the way my face feels after I shave, so I hop back in the shower and with a very gentle, with a very gentle milk-based moisturizer, this is from Dom DeLuise, I'll clean my face and all of this oil stuff off. Then when I'm done cleaning my face, I'll get out of the shower and that's when I do the toner and I'm done! Yay! Thank you for watching, beauty vlogger. Hello, also skinny legend, almost Vegas ready. And yes, I will be manscaping, but I kind of want to be very hairy until then so that there's a striking difference. The reveal underneath the fur. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you know the drill. Hit the like button, leave a comment, share, subscribe. I post videos every day. Subscribe to my main channel. Follow me on Instagram. Get a personalized video from me on Cameo and keep shining, superstar. I love you.